Uh, a little bit looking more like Krillin in that last game. Oh. But uh, let's see uh, who's going to be looking like Goku in this one. FX's own Dakpo versus Gyo. Now, uh, you know, Gyo, uh, pretty close to uh, Goku. He's got the G and the O. Yep, that's two of and the then letters. And Dakpo has the K. I mean, together. Oh, my God. Together, they're Goku. <laughs> together, they're uh, Gulp. Gulp? Gulp. That, that's Gulp. it. That sounds like a... Sounds like Doodle Bob, oh like a really bad drawing of like Shulk. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god! Some really bad mashup of Shulk. <laughs> and right now, we uh, we didn't talk about it earlier. I was talking about this with Cephalon. The Rob versus Zerosu matchup is terrible. So Geo has this villager in his back pocket. It looks like he's gonna pull it out against Dakpo. Every time so far he's pulled out the villager, it hasn't really worked out in his favor. But every time it's still a little bit better than his Rob, because that matchup is just not something to talk to your mom about. Dakpo continuing his trademark trait of switching up his tag ever so slightly every week with the Dak Bro. Looking forward to the uh, to the boat shoes. Uh, Ooh, the, bo the boat shoes. Yeah, I want, the, I want those fairies, man. man. So that's what it's, it's going to be, the fairies now. Up here, it's the uh, it's up frat up boy. Up to up yeah. The, fr this the fraternity <laughs> combo? Yeah. That's that, hazing. That's it's hazing, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> that's him, uh... That's him signing in. Pretty much. Ooh. Down through to the forward air, get some stage position. Oh, oh wow, and Gyo able to avoid that boost kick. Very integral because I'm pretty sure at that kind of position towards the stage, it would have resulted in a KO. More He's kind of Michael. trapped on this platform though, and Dakpo taking advantage of that with that meaty, meaty up smash. Only getting some of the weaker hits, just sending him off to the side, but still getting some position. And right now, he's able to capitalize. Ooh. So he's noticed a couple of times Gio will throw out the gyro and then jump up to do something like a forward air. That time Gio threw out the gyro, or I mean, gyroid, I'm used to him playing Rob. <laughs> the Lloyd rocket he sends out and then he would jump. And that time his jump got caught by that down beat. You see there, he'll throw out the Lloyd, and then he'll jump. This time doing the chase. Now you gotta mix it up with that, because if you get too caught, too, uh, too st I guess stationary with it overall, and right. that's when you start getting red, and that's when you start losing some stocks, as and we that saw. That is how we previously. saw. Still having a bit of trouble here taking this stock, and he tried to go for the hard redo with that up smash, but Dakpo was just not biting. I love that he doesn't stay in his shield too long. You'll notice that sometimes he'll go for the roll, sometimes he'll just run immediately out of it. He doesn't act too often out of shield to keep that option fresh. Right. Ooh, and now the axe is in play. That move itself could just kill Zerosu right now if she commits too hard, but she just was content to throw the whip on that tree. It doesn't have that same kill potency that did in Brawl, but it's so good, I feel, at uh, just keeping someone in a particular zone. Well, because it does damage to the tree, and when you're damaging the tree, it just kind of like goes away when you do enough damage. That way, you're taking away the option of having the axe there as a KO move. Yeah, can we talk about how the hydrants are dancing whenever... Uh, you sent out that, that not the last hydrant, but the hydrant before. That was uh, that was cute. Man, you, you dance on a little hydrant. Oh, you know what else is cute? That down smash was cute, but not too much off. Now he's got the grab. Oh, misses the back air. If that was any more turnips, if that wasn't a single turnip, I think that might have been enough to tip. More stock. than likely. Unfortunately, the turnip stock market right now is looking pretty low. Yeah, it's uh, they're having a bit of a famine. Uh, just 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 a bit of a famine. <laughs> Gio was playing under the stage there for a little bit, trying to make that recovery a little bit more safe. Was able to make it back on stage, and ooh, I think some terms might take this, take this stock. But maybe after that stock, he that was brilliant. He basically used that pocket to as like a pseudo air dodge because it gives you invincibility, but he maintained all of his aerial mobility while doing so. That was the three turnips. Definitely would have sealed that stock right there. But once he has this stock taken out, he has a whole other stock to deal with. And at 124% and two minutes on the clock, the odds are not in his favor. Yeah, Dakbo's just sitting very comfortably. He has plenty of time whenever it comes to actually playing this. That's forward airs coming out. Man, I think he's mostly actually using some of the back airs. He'll do raw bears or turn around and bear because back air is a little bit stronger but he's staling them so much that they're not getting kills at percents where normally it would if it was fresh. All of the stalling. Oh, but not enough. 
Still wasn't able to throw off the timing of Dakpo. Able to get that down smash into the back air. Was not teched. And that was the game. A solid two stock. That was just big. That was just big. And and it's what it came down to. It's what it came down to. I, maybe Gio had some more proficiencies whenever it came to putting on percentage. But it was Dakpo all the way whenever it came to taking out stocks. Man. And the whole time, basically, that entire match, Gio is just playing from behind. And the projectile camp game is just not that effective when you are playing from behind. Right now, we'll see if he's able to take the first stock this game and maybe get a little bit of a lead. He was looking for a lot of grabs. And I noticed that he'd be coming up short pretty often, and that would be a lot of areas where Dakpo would uh, be able to either escape corner pressure or he'd be able to put on some nice damage. That time, though, Gil landing a grab. Well, a pretty low percent, so he doesn't get a whole lot off of it, though. But he's still ahead as far as percent goes. Okay, good combo break right there by Dakpo. Get the up B, just kind of get some position, and oh, that was terrifying. Yeah, but that slight weave, pulling away at just the right time, Gio's able to go and retain that stock and get it, instead of getting slammed straight to his doom. Being, below, being like right above zero suit, not a good time. Well, maybe... I thought he was going to go in deep, actually, there, potentially look for a bear. Oh, the further the you go deep, though, against Villager, very terrifying, because he'll just throw the projectile out at you while he's safe, and you'll just kind of get stage spiked or knocked onto the stage. It's not a good time. Yeah, it can be really scary. Dakpo catching up from a percent standing. What's he going to do to go and close out the stock? We saw so much from Dakpo previously. You know, he's got plenty of cool kill setups. Ooh, maybe... Maybe a bit oversells with the, with the down smash. Do you think that was really necessary? I mean, sometimes you, when you think that your opponent's going to commit to an option, you just kind of go for it. And they would have sealed out the stock if he was able to get it. Wasn't punished too hard for it either. Ooh, and there he was able to get the tether trump into the back air. And right now, like we said before, Geo's playing from behind. And ooh, that might be it. He ate the double jump with that nair, and he's able to go and get past one of his demons actually taking a stock. Right now, the game is pretty even, just a couple percent. Oh my goodness, he just converted off of the tree being planted. <laughs> and right now, a little bit of a lead back for Geo. But the question is, can he seal out a stock? Tight game back and forth so far. Deck was still at a bit of a disadvantage, and he's using those Zairs. Forcing Gyo a bit into the corner, but Gyo able to snap out. It's like a control battle back and forth whenever it comes to that right side, isn't it? Right. It's a little bit difficult to throw out stuff like the Zeres because, I mean, you're going to get caught on the way up with all of the forward air slingshots coming from Villager. But And then in the same vein, it's kind of hard to throw out Paralyzers because they can just get caught on the Lloyd Rockets thrown out by the Villager. But it's just a matter of who is faster on the draw. Geo expecting a different defensive option running past Dakpo's shield. He was just content to sit and then punish Geo running for the forward air. Dakpo being so mindful of that tree. You notice the way that he spaced around it because he predicted that it was going to be grown forward air. The second day connecting on Geo, still holding onto that socket at 125. Ooh, he came up with the axe. And at now that's not going to be an option. Ooh, Lloyd Rocket saving his skin. Back air connecting to that. Ooh, and the up air, if that was anything but one turnip, yet again, could have been the game. But when you're playing with an RNG-based, you know, move on a character like this, sometimes you just come up short and then the stock is gone and you lose the set 2-0. Really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Uh, I feel like whenever I look at that, that matchup a bit more, especially towards the end game, I think that stage control is so much more important for Villager uh, than it is for for, for Dakpo. Right. Um, especially because whenever the villager gets backed into the corner, there's a higher percentage of them actually being off stage. Yes. And that sets up for so many of Dakpo's various KO options, whether right. it's the down B off stage or whether it's the tether trump back air that we saw uh, right. in the previous talk. So. And when he can catch your options getting on stage, up B that close to the ledge, going to do a lot of damage, maybe not even give you a chance to come back. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely a lot to think about.